Greetings Clay students! In this video we are going to show you how you can go about glazing a large or odd shaped piece of ceramic that just won't fit in your bucket. So after you've mixed your glazes in the bucket you can use one of, we've got a couple different large measuring cups that you can use to pour the glaze into one of these larger pans. We've got this large basin that's sitting in the glaze room which you can use. Remember we're all using gloves to use any of the tools in the glazing area right now. But now I've got most all of my glaze into this basin and I've already waxed the foot of the platter that Jen made. Remember before starting to dip glaze, uh, it's a good idea to wash your pot. After it's been misfired, it can be very, very dusty and you don't want that dust to prevent the glaze from sticking to your pot. But here just to show again, if it doesn't fit in the bucket, this is a good solution. Uh, and with the basin, I've got enough space now I can just dip it in and shake it around, make sure it gets completely submerged and then gently pour out the excess. Using gloves for this process is great because then I don't have glaze all over my hands. It doesn't stick to the gloves as much. And then I just noticed I did have a little dusty spot on my pot where the glaze did not want to stick and you do need a bare finger to be able to pick up a little bit of glaze and do some touch-ups if needed. But first coat is done and now we're going to clean out our basin. Uh, so because it's such, so much glaze and it's a bit of a process to do this, it's always a good idea to glaze multiple things at the same time. So if you've got a couple large things or if you have some other uh, students in the class that are creating large things and want to glaze them at the same time, you guys can try and coordinate if you're using the same palette. But make sure you clean out the basin between colors uh, after emptying the bucket. Uh, emptying the glaze into the bucket, make sure you just scrape as much glaze back into the bucket and then you can just use some water and a sponge to clean out the rest. That way you start with a fresh basin for your next color. And here's dip number two, same process where I just submerge it. Try and think about how your pot's gonna go into the glaze all the time. If I tried to dip this upside down, I would end up with some bald spots in the center. So try and think about where the glaze is going to touch your pot whenever you're dipping it. and Think about it ahead of time before jumping in. You'll end up with better results. 